This is a hair tourniquet. And uh, mom, how long has this been on here? About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. And you saw a hair on there too, but you, uh, you tried to remove it? Yes. And what happened? Uh, I could tell that it started to bleed. It almost like it got tighter. Okay. And a little bit of blood was coming out, so I just left it alone and came. Uh, okay. All right. This is probably, this, like I was telling you, we've had two of these in two days, which is a little atypical. I haven't seen one for a couple of years, so. slight stabbing incision right down on the dorsal aspect. So do you think you went deep enough though? I because I mean obviously you're cutting some of the side walls, but do we get deep enough? Do you have to get and just go straight down? I, I just I went straight down. Okay. So let me hold a little pressure. So this is in follow-up the next day. And uh, so so basically what we did yesterday, can you show under hold a little toe up underneath here too? He's ticklish. <gasps> He's a tickle boy. He's so cute. Look at him. He is precious. He doesn't, it doesn't so, seem to bother him at all no, today. No, no. And it's nice and pink. It's mm -hmm. The skin color is the same. They've been putting antibiotic ointment on top of that. And basically, the, the we actually worked on this twice yesterday. And I'm saying this more for the video. but um, And for Dad, too. But, but basically, what happens is... The first time we numbed him up, the first time we cut on it, I, was, I wasn't I was sure whether my resin had gone deep enough. And I asked him out, and the, they teach, they say you have to go all the way to the bone. Take the, take the blade all the way to the bone. And when I asked him that, he said, no, I don't think I did. So we went back in, he was still numb, so it was all no, good. Fine, yeah. and, and we went back in and, and he, he went down and sterilized it and prepped it, and then we, we fixed that. So, so, but that's the teaching point on this is that these things get really buried, and you have to take your blade right over the uh, of hair, and then go up and touch bone. Um, and doing it in a sterile, it sounds terrible. It does. <laughs> it does. But but it basically you have to do it in a sterile yeah. approach. So, so like I said, I think that if there's any hair remnants, it's going to pop up as the tissues heal, and and it'll go away. So. I, and uh, he's not cussing at me today. No, so. he's not. He's, <laughs> he's in a he's better mood. He's much happier with you. Yeah, yeah. All right. He's smiling and happy. So, all right. Thanks so much for letting me do this. No problem. No problem.